intercept. If you want the x-intercept, you're going to put y equal to 0. So what's left? x is equal to 5. Right. Then you want the y-intercept. Now, if you want the y-intercept, what are you going to do? You're going to put x equal to 0. Now, see what's left. Minus y is equal to 5. So you've got minus y is equal to 5. Now, you'll have to multiply both sides by minus 1. So minus 1 times minus y will give you plus y. And minus 1 times this 5 will give you minus 5. So there's your y-intercept and there's your x-intercept. And we want to draw the graph. Okay. So again, it's a rough sketch. There's your 0. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Now hold on. I think this is a bit too small for you. Let me do it nice and big there because I'd like you to see it nice and clearly. Right. That's better. Got more space. And in life, it doesn't mean that if you came up with a plan, the plan has to be final. You can always change your plan. I plan to do it here. I can always change my plan and do it there. Right, so there is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. There is 1, there is 2. Then there is x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's your x-axis, that's your y-axis. On this side, I've got minus 1. I've got minus 2. Right, remember it's a rough sketch. It's not an untidy sketch. It's called a rough sketch, right. Now, what is the x-intercept? x is 5. So, go and look for the x-axis, find 5, put a dot on it. What's the y-intercept? The y-intercept is minus 5. Find the y-axis. Find minus 5 and put a dot on it. Then take your ruler and join the two points. So, you see? If you take your ruler and join these two points, you'll find that you'll have a straight line going through like that. And you label it x minus y is equal to 5. You have labeled the graph. All right. I think with those three examples, you should be able to do an exercise. So I'll shortly give you a little exercise where you'll find the x-intercepts and then draw the graphs. All right, here's a little exercise for you. Exercise eight, draw the following graphs using X and Y intercepts. Number one, X plus Y is equal to three. Number two, X minus Y is equal to four. Number three, two Y minus three X is equal to six. And number 4, 3x minus 5y is equal to 15. Alright, so what you must do now is stop the DVD and do the and do the exercise. Alright, and then come back and we'll mark them and see how well you did. Okay, thank you. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do number one and two on one graph, and then I'll do three and four on another graph. Now, if I take number one, the x-intercept, x is equal to three. Sorry about this. x is equal to three. And y-intercept, y is equal to three. Okay. See? X-intercept, X is 3. Y-intercept, Y is 3. Right. And then let's do number 2. Because they're fairly easy. Number 2, the X-intercept, you put Y equal to 0. X-intercept, X is equal to 4. Y-intercept. Y-intercept. For y intercept, you must put x equal to 0. So you got x equal to 0. So you got minus y is equal to 4. And therefore y is equal to, now you're going to multiply by 
minus 1 on both sides. So minus 1 times y will give you y, minus 1 times 4 will give you minus 4, right? So that's your final answer there. Okay, now we can draw these graphs. We're going to draw the graph, we're going to do a rough sketch. Here's your y-axis, here's your x-axis. There's your x, here's your y. All right? You need one, two, three, four. You need minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. On the x, we need one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And on this side, we've got minus one, minus two, minus three. So if I take the first example written in red, I'm going to draw it in red. X is three. Y is three. X is 3, put a dot on X axis on 3. Y is 3, put a dot on Y axis on 3. Then use your ruler, join the two points, and you get a straight line and label your graph X plus Y is equal to 3. Now we do the second one. Second one, X is 4. So on the X axis, put a dot on 4. Y is minus 4. Look for the y-axis, look for minus 4, place a dot on minus 4. Take your ruler and then join these two points and you will get a straight line and label your line x minus y is equal to 4. That's your graphs for number 1 and Two. And we're going to leave it there for a while so that you can check what is happening and correct your work if need be or else if you got them right you can put big ticks there and you can congratulate yourself. You're doing very well. Alright, that was number one and two. Okay, let's move on to number three and four. Here we have number three and four. Let's look at number three. We want the x-intercept. All right, pins are giving me a little problem. Let's exchange pins. Now, if you want the x-intercept, then, then x-intercept, then y will be zero. So what's left? Minus three x is equal to six. So x is equal to six over minus three. X is equal to minus two, right. Now, let's find the y-intercept. Now, if you want the y-intercept, then the x will be 0. So, 2y is equal to 6. y is equal to 6 over 2. y is equal to 3. So, we've got the x and the y-intercepts here. All right. Now, let's go... All right, I'll tell you what, I changed my plan. There's number three, let me draw the graph for number three now. Because I'm short of space here. So let me draw the graph for number three here. Right, so you're gonna draw the graph, right. And it's going to be a rough sketch. So there's your y-axis, there's your x-axis, right? And you need one, two, three, Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, right, that should do, and we're going to draw this graph, x is minus 2, x is minus 2, look for the x-axis, look for minus 2, place a dot on minus 2, y is 3, look for the y-axis, look for 3, Place the dot on it. Use your ruler and join these two points and you will have a straight line and then you must label it 2y minus 3x is equal to 6. Alright, that finishes number 3. I'm going to let it roll for a while so that you can check your work.
and see what happens. Now remember, I'm doing rough sketches. You can do the rough sketches, but don't do untidy sketches. And when it comes to the straight line, make sure you draw the straight line with your ruler. All right, let's roll to number four. Y is equal to 15. So we want the X intercept. You want the X intercept, right. If you want the X intercept, you're gonna make Y equal to zero. So what's left? What's left? Three X is equal to 15. So you have three X is equal to 15, x is equal to 15 over 3, x is equal to 5. Okay, we've got the x-intercept. Now we want the y-intercept. If you want the y-intercept, what do you do? If you want y-intercept, you put x equal to 0. So what's left? Be careful. What's left is you want the y-intercept. You want the y-intercept, you put x equal to 0. What's left? Minus 5y is equal to 15. y is equal to 15 divided by minus 5. y is equal to minus 3. So we've got our x and y intercept. Now we're going to draw the graph. Okay. So a little rough sketch. There's your y-axis. There's your x-axis. There's your origin. There's 0. Now you want 1 two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Minus one, minus two, minus three. One, two, three, four. Minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one. And if I like, we put a minus four. There. Two. Right, now. What is the x-intercept? The x-intercept is 5. x-intercept is 5. Look for the x-axis. Put a dot on 5. So you put the dot there. See? The dot goes on to 5. y-intercept. y-intercept is minus 3. Look for the y-axis. Look for minus 3. And put a dot on minus 3. There's your dot on minus 3. And then you should use a ruler and join these two points and you get a straight line and as usual label it 3x minus 5y is equal to 15 and the graph is labeled. All right, so that brings us to the end of lesson 7 which is drawing straight lines using x-intercept and y-intercept. Now, what's going to happen in the examination is you must be careful. You've got to know both methods, firstly. You've got to know both methods. Because there are certain graphs you cannot draw using x-intercept and y-intercept. So you have to know both methods. But most of the time, you will use x-intercept, y-intercept, draw your graph very quickly, and save time, and, and uh, use more time for thinking. But remember, you have to know both methods. So that is where we will end lesson 7 and you can relax and come back to us when we give you lesson 8. In lesson 8 we will give you more examples to do and we are going to force you, you will see there in lesson 8 how some examples will be done with a straight line, uh, with x intercept, y intercept and some will have to be done with ordered pairs. Alright, so that's end of lesson 7. Hi there, welcome back to lesson 8. Uh, in this lesson, I don't do much work, you do all the work. Because in this lesson, all I'm going to tell you is graph the following. Means draw the graph of the following. And I give you these two examples. 1, x plus y is equal to 5. 2, y is equal to 3x. I'm not telling you what method to use. I'm just telling you draw these two graphs. Now you're a math student, you have your rights and you can draw it whichever way you like. So I want you to think a little bit, try it and then after that I'm going to mark it. So 
stop DVD and do exercise. Right, good. So I know you, you like drawing, so you went straight away and you drew your system of axes and you got zero here and you said right one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five. Minus one, minus two, one, two, three. Right. You do all the easy part first. I know you, right? Very good. Wise man or woman will do that. Right. We've got the axes drawn. And now we have a good look at it. And when we look at number one, we say, ah, oh, no problem. I can do that using x intercept and y intercept. So you say, right, number one, x intercept is. What is the x intercept? You put y equal to zero. So what's the x intercept? x is equal to five. So x intercept x is equal to 5. Then you're saying, right, now I'm going to find the y-intercept. y-intercept. Okay. So y-intercept, you put x equal to 0. Oh, very nice. y is equal to 5. Okay, that means you can draw number 1. Well, let's go and draw number 1 then. x is 5. So there's it here. y is 5. There's a pair, and then take your ruler and join these two points, and you get a straight line. And you can label it x plus y is equal to 5. Okay, so you finish that one, you're very happy. Now, when you look at this one, if you try this trick, or not trick, if you try this method, you'll have a problem. Well, let's try it and see what happens. Say you did number 2. You train x intercept, and then you want to find y intercept. Right. For x intercept, what you must do? You must put y equal to 0. So you'll get 3x is equal to 0. So what is happening? 3x is equal to 0. Therefore, x is 0. Because 3 times something gives me 0, therefore that must be 0. So x is 0. Now for y intercept, what you'll do? For y intercept, you'll put x equal to 0. So what's happening? y is equal to 0. So y is equal to 0. Now you've got the x intercept. You've got x equal to 0, y equal to 0. Now you're going to go try and draw, draw the graph. So you'll say, right, x equal to 0. There's the x-axis. I'll put the dot there. I finished with that. y equal to 0. So there's the y-axis. There's 0. I'll put the dot there. And that's when you realize you got a problem because both these dots are falling one upon the other and you can't draw the graph. So you realize, oh, so I have to go and find ordered pairs. So for this example, you have to find ordered pairs. So your question is y is equal to 3x. Now, you only need two ordered pairs. Now you already got one ordered pair here. You see x is 0, y is 0. So you already got an ordered pair here x is 0 and y is 0. But if you don't agree with that, not a problem. Let's say x is 0. So what you'll say? You'll say, if x is 0, then y is equal to 3x, then y is equal to 3 times 0, which is 0. So you can see clearly that your first ordered pair is 0 and 0. So you've got that one ordered pair. In case you didn't believe me there, you can see the working here. So that's your first ordered pair. Now you want your second ordered pair. So if you want your second ordered pair, you'll say, right, let's take, say, x equal to 1. Now if x is equal to 1, the equation is y is equal to 3x. So it'll be 3 times that number there, 3 times 1, which is 3. So what's your second ordered pair? x is 1 x is 1 and y is 3. So, your second order. Now you've got two ordered pairs and by now you are fairly confident and you're quite sure about your working so you can take these two ordered pairs and plot them. So, you've got 0, 0 already plotted there. 
right? You got your zero, zero plotted there already. Then you're gonna plot this one here now, one, three. There's your one going up to three. There's your one going up to three. Now you have these two points. Now you can join these two points. And draw the graph and of course label it. So you see, the second example had to be done using ordered pairs. Whereas the first one could have been done using x-intercept and y-intercept. So that is why you have to know both methods. You can't get away. All right. So thank you very much. It's a very short lesson. You've always been listening for long and working hard. So in this lesson, we made it short. So you have to have a little more time to have a break. Okay, sit back, relax, and now what you should do is you should retry these two examples on your own. Try to do them quickly because you must develop speed and you must develop accuracy. All right, so all the best and enjoy your learning and do well and succeed in life. Thank you.